All right, hey guys, how's it going? Um, so the purpose of this video is to explain, or actually to bring good news. So I get a lot of people coming to my stream and um, sometimes they ask, how do I play just ref? If I'm playing on on original Xbox, on, uh, on Xbox 360, how am I doing it? How does it look so smooth, so fluid? How do you get access to this game? Um, which is, I think, the main problem of JSRF. It's not a very accessible game. Uh, the only way to play it properly is, or was, to buy an original Xbox, which in most countries is not that easy to find. And it's not cheap. Like, I, I don't know, there's, there's various reasons why... Um, JSRF is not super accessible in 2021. And because of that, uh, some fans of the game are very desperate and they immediately feel like they have to consume anything that looks similar to JSRF. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, I am not bashing any fan projects or any uh, efforts that a community have made. I feel like there's really good stuff out there that's about to come and that we already have uh, these days. But let's be real, we want to play JSRF. So how do you do that? Well, the good news, guys, is that there is an emulator. Most of you guys don't know it. There's an original Xbox emulator currently in development. It's actually, it has been in development for, I'm pretty sure, more than three years now. They just rebooted the project. It's called CXBX Reloaded. Now, this emulator has made a lot of um, improvement since it came out. Um, I didn't trust the project at first because it was very, um, very rough. Playing in this emulator was actually very, very rough. Uh, you. It was very common to get massive frame drops. However, today, February 2021, it's actually super accessible. You just go to the, the you, you literally just Google CXBX Reloaded and you should get the GitHub page or the official page, which is, if I'm not mistaken, cxbxr.co.uk. I'm gonna link it in the description, so don't worry about that. And just download it. Um, it runs very, very nicely. You don't need a very beefy set, um, setup anymore. Um, you need a decent computer. Uh, it's still not super, super optimized, but it works. And it works like a charm. Now, how does this work? So, first of all, what you need to understand is that this emulator it deals with XBEs, which means the actual executable file for the game. It doesn't it doesn't deal with with ISOs, with ISO files. So I recommend downloading a program called um, XDVD Molitor. I'm also gonna leave a description uh, link in the description. And then what this program does is it lets you extract the ISO files. So you get your JSRF ISO, you uh, open it up in X XDVD Molitor, and then you extract it. And then when you when you extract it, you're gonna get two files. You're gonna get the media folder, and you're gonna get a file called default.xbe. And that's what you're gonna open on CXBX Reloaded. You just go click on File, Open, and you choose the default.xbe file. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm actually gonna show you and make a comparison of my current setup. I currently play on original hardware. Um, I play on a on an Xbox that outputs the signal in, in component, and then the component connects to an upscaler called OSSC. This upscaler is actually doing God's work. It's actually outputting the signal or upscaling the signal and outputting it to HDMI, and that's how I play. 
and it's really really good quality and I will actually show you a comparison between emulator and original hardware played with a OSSC. So yeah, enjoy. So just a few last notes. I recommend builds from February 2021 and on. Currently I'm playing on February 2nd, but I'm pretty sure the newer versions are also pretty optimized. So keep that in mind. And also, you uh, if, in, in case you were wondering, you can actually play with, uh, with an Xbox One controller, with a wireless controller. And then the, the emulator has an option to configure the input, and there you can remap the buttons. So yeah, just in case you were wondering. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Give me a break, give me a break.